Hi, good evening. Uh, this is your friend Han. It is great to see you here tonight. And uh, tonight I'm very, very excited because I get introduced um, another excellent uh, Facebook marketing um, product. And the name of the product it's called the Facebook Fan Page Method. So this time I'm not only getting one person, but I'm getting two persons. It's almost like double the pleasure, right? Uh, two uh, Facebook and viral traffic experts and they're both are full-time internet marketer and uh, um, you gonna learn they're both internet marketing stories which is incredible one was taking shower in the gym another one was came off uh, to be a bartender uh, so it's very very inspirational and they have been uh, doing this uh, one person has been doing this author uh, has been doing this for a while now and uh, uh, Chris just got to you know, figure out a awesome, awesome system. Actually, he's the one that created this uh, software, and um, he wasn't gonna, you know, make this product until author kind of pushed him to show to the public. So, um, this two two guys, two dudes, and we haven't really heard about them, but they're kind of secretly on the background making all their money. I mean, if you go to the sales uh, page by click the link above or the e cover beside me, uh, you'll see the. Um, Sell so that you, you will see some of the incredible figure like half um, like a, uh, one of his students uh, had half a million fans uh, was you know eight thousand to nine thousand income you're gonna hear about it during the interview by the way and uh, some incredible numbers and uh, um, an author has the opportunity to work with celebrities get you know uh, I, I think at twenty million views on YouTube videos all kinds of cool stuff he does so you're gonna learn all that in inside the interview. So this is going to be one of the uh, uh, most fascinating uh, uh, interview uh, that you know you can listen to and then watch and then make sure you take a lot of notes because uh, they they went over some uh, important topics such as how do you make a, a content go very viral? I mean this guy um, I, I think you know personally that was one of my personal challenges. I don't know the difference between a a, a random content versus a viral content and uh, he's not only going to teach that inside the course but he also shares some of my tips on that too so pay attention I think you can really like it and uh, this is your friend Han and uh, enjoy the interview and check out the sales letter and uh, look out for my bonus and review tomorrow morning as well so and uh, until next time enjoy the interview keep smiling and I'll talk to you soon cheers good afternoon ladies and gentlemen uh, this is your friend Hannah again and it is great to see you here and today I'm very very excited I'm uh, usually I interview with one person but uh, today I got double the pleasure I got two awesome full-time internet marketer here uh, you usually don't hear about them very uh, often but um, they're gonna share some awesome awesome Facebook marketing secret with us. Uh, they are the full-time internet marketers who make the real money out there just kind of decide to bring an awesome product to us. Uh, so at the end of the interview, um, author and Chris here is going to share a, an awesome product with you guys about how to really, really make the big box uh, with the Facebook. So stay tuned, take a lot of notes, get your pen and paper ready. Um, before we get to the interview, let's kind of learn how author and Chris uh, get it started with the internet marketing and but most importantly what they exactly do uh, you know to get the level to achieve a level of success they have today um, so Chris why, why don't you kind of like take the lead here kind of share your unique internet marketing story with us hey, well, Han, thank you for the opportunity to talk with you guys here today and I just want to kind of get back to about eight months ago I was actually bartending in Orlando Florida and you know dabbling in this whole internet marketing thing just ah. trying to get a couple extra hundred bucks a month and i basically got like i figured out a little formula with facebook for ah. building fan pages uh -huh. and over the last eight months i've lived in panama the philippines now costa rica and just been traveling while scaling this all up i'm ah. just kind of i've always been someone who's wanted to travel and see different parts of the world experience different things different cultures and when I started to scale this up, what happened was uh, I was able to basically go wherever I wanted and let the business grow. I was working, you know, a little, little bit of time. You know, uh, the Philippines I actually only worked 20 hours for the two months I was over there. So oh, I was kind of like living the the internet marketing like four hour, five hour work week. So you you are the uh, uh, I guess the biggest fan with Tim Ferriss. Then like uh, you really. Yeah. You kind of like live live that people read about it people hear about it but you're living at it right 
Yeah, I, I gravitated very well to that because I, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to things. If I don't want to do it, I'm probably not going to, which uh -huh. is why I took so long to put together this product. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, awesome. I'd much rather just go surf or chill on the beach. <laughs> that, that's awesome. Uh, now, let me ask you something, Chris. Was was there a trial and error when you first started with the internal marketing? Oh, yeah. I spent uh, hundreds, thousands of dollars on products that uh, I, I learned a little bit, uh -huh. but nothing really clicked with it, like resonated with me, uh -huh. and nothing really it was working for what I was trying, and it was just kind of, it, it pissed me off. Like, it was frustrating, because I was, you know, I was going to work at the bar, I was getting, you know, couple hundred, couple thousand bucks a month from bartending, right. investing that in myself and these products and not getting any results. Like it just, it was, it made me mad to be honest with you. Yeah. I was like, this sucks. I don't believe in this. <laughs> right. And, uh, so what was that one thing that kept you going? So so you end up to achieve a level of success you have so that you, you are truly the internet marketer because you're living a style. I mean, I mean, everybody. You, you are the end of go of everybody want to do as far as lifestyle goes. So, uh, what was that one thing kept you going? Because I know a lot of people listen to this or uh, on the word for me now, we, we just, you know, if, if they bought out of product doesn't work, they just kind of want to walk away and say, hey, screw this, this internal marketing thing doesn't work. It's all scam stuff. So, what, what was that one thing kept you going? Well, I had, I'd gone through a lot of those times where I was like, I'm throwing in the towel, I'm done with this. And... <laughs> What I did was I did whatever I could to just get in contact with people who were doing this type of like living, this type of lifestyle. Uh -huh. And like I'd call them, I'd you know get on Skype, get on Facebook with them, and just talk to them on a daily basis, seeing, you know, just trying to build up a relationship, just to learn what their mindset was about this. Uh -huh. And what I realized was a lot of them did the same thing. Like they they struggled a lot, yes. and yes. they just kept pushing through. Uh -huh. And I was like, well, I've been struggling a lot, so maybe I'm going to push through one of these times. Yeah, and, and you did. You did. But, uh, but, yeah. And it was just, it was the uh, surrounding myself with those people that really, it like switched my mindset over to I can do this versus I hope this works. Uh -huh. And when it started working, I just continued to do it. That's, that's right. And uh, I interview a lot of people uh, in the past uh, couple of years. And uh, the common, the common uh, thing is that it's the people that keep, push it through it, uh, eventually become very successful, uh, and, and it's it's about 90% mindset and 10% action naturally, so if you get down to it. So, um, um, uh, author, what about you? Like, can you, can you share some of your story with us as well? Sure. You know, uh, <clears throat> like, uh, first of all, Han, thanks so much for, for having us on the show. I uh, truly oh. appreciate it. And uh, just, like, just like Chris, you know, lots of trial and error, lots of uh, banging my head against the wall trying to figure it out. Actually, my career started back in 2008, uh -huh. and I got into internet marketing out of necessity. And I got tired. I was in a direct sales company. I got tired of going around putting out flyers, uh, doing roadside signs, oh, wow. chamber of commerce meetings. I mean, I just got tired of it, and I, I knew there was a better way. And I heard about you know Facebook and people using Twitter and people using email marketing and the internet. And I was familiar with the internet, but I just wasn't familiar with how to use it properly. Uh, so out of necessity, I, I just started going out there and experimenting. And this was back in 2008. And uh, I've had success before then. Uh, but because of the time and money that I spent uh, learning from, you know, various people in the industry, um, I ran myself into the ground. You know, I literally, um, th this is kind of a sad, uh, and kind of humiliating story that I'm not ashamed to share because it's, it's part of my story. Uh -huh. uh, but I remember, um, you know, going to shower in the gym uh, because I couldn't afford to put the water bill back on. Oh. Um, it was it was it was more valuable for me to buy leads than it was to put the water on, and it was less expensive to yeah, just get that's a gym membership of... than it was to put the water on. Uh -huh. So that was that's part of my story. You know, it's just something that, that I like to share sometimes because it's just part of my story. It's it's what I had to go through uh -huh. uh, to get to where I'm at. And you know, a couple years later, I uh, had a brilliant idea with. Uh, in a company, launched the company, ended up moving out to California, and uh, you know, ever since then, it's just been it's just been awesome for me. You know, I just I landed some incredible clients. I've been working with a lot of uh, with a lot of people. I've been hired as a consultant, and it's just going through the school hard knocks. You know, banging my head against the wall until yeah. I just figured it out. Yeah, talk, just share a little bit of some like summary of some of the success you have. Like you say, you're with a celebrity now. 
and I mean you've been full time in here Mike for like five six years now uh, correct me if I'm wrong but just share a little bit of some of the get my audience taste a little bit of some of your success here so uh, they can be also be excited as well I'm sure you know I, I work with a lot of uh, corporate clients um, I, I work with a company called K1 Speed Mm -hmm. And for those of you that are on YouTube, you probably are familiar with a guy by the name of Freddie W. or Dave Storm. Uh, some of the celebrity uh, YouTubers that are out there, I've worked with a lot of these guys. Nice Peter, um, you know, some of these guys that are that are big on YouTube, I've worked with them and I've generated video. I've done videos with some of these guys that generated over 20 million views on YouTube. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, my clients are really happy because they get to be a part of something great without uh, having to necessarily spend millions of dollars for advertising to do it. Um, I just figure out a way to bring people together mm -hmm. and create a win-win situation. So I work with guys like Hulk Hogan, uh, if, you are, if you're familiar with Alfonso Ribeiro, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, uh, he was the uh, Carlton, he did the Carlton dance. Mm -hmm. uh, so got a chance to spend some time with him awesome. and uh, you know some, some companies out there that, that are you know, making, making uh, splashes in different niches um, but using internet marketing to help them get to, uh, uh, you know, viral celebrity status using so, outside celebrities. That, that is awesome. That is awesome. So, like the last question I asked the quiz in, in a couple minutes ago, what was that one thing kept you going? I mean, you, you were taking shower in the gym, hack. So what was that one thing that made you that so motivated? You have to have to make this internet marketing working. Um, you know, I didn't share my I didn't share my full story, but you know, my, my family migrated to uh, immigrated to America okay. from communist Russia, uh -huh. and I just watched my dad the perseverance that he has, and I've been through my own set of struggles uh -huh. uh, even before I got into internet marketing. I you know I had some I had a battle with drug addiction. I, was, I spent some time in jail, uh -huh. um, so I I'm not a quitter. You know, I'll do whatever it takes. I don't care, you know, what it takes. I'll just make it happen, and that's just been my mentality. Um, you know, all, right. for, for as long as I, for as long as I've been here. You know, sometimes you you hit a brick wall, and you're like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. And then you got to just shut your mind up and just say, How can I make this happen? Yes, yes. And like, that's, and that's been how how I operate. Yeah, I, I, I was I was been telling people, folks on the solution, not the problem, because. Sometimes the problem is the fix the gift because there's a lot of money could be made once you pick out the solution. So these are people that, you know, focus on the solutions actually persevere at the very end. And and you're a great example for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, so let's talk about Facebook marketing a, a, a little bit. I mean, both of you are very good with the viral marketing here. Um, and, and, and so let's talk about how all the vast things you could do with the internet marketing. You know, it could be Amazon, you can do Kindle, all that crazy stuff. Why Facebook? Why, why did you, why anybody even want to start with the Facebook advertising or Facebook marketing at all? I love that there's, there's so many people who are always on Facebook every single day. Uh-huh. Like, like think about when people wake up in the morning, the first thing they do is like, oh, my phone, I'm hopping on Facebook. Exactly. And like that's just an audience, like that's people to, you know, get access to. And with Facebook pay-per-click, you can get so specific with who you're targeting that you can write an ad to like a 55-year-old woman in New York in a specific city who has this problem and like talks about it actively on Facebook. Uh -huh. And then you can create an ad to her and say, is this your problem? Like, we have the solution, click here. and then. You know, redirect them to. In our case, we're using fan pages uh -huh. because it's a it's a long term strategy. Instead of doing directly to off of Facebook and hoping that your like lead page ca converts them into a lead for you, uh -huh. you have as a liker, like somebody who's going to continue to get your status updates, your you know ads every once in a while, your see your content, and then you know you're building up the relationship. Well you know, over time without having it to immediately be through email hoping that your, you know, lead page converts. So right. I like that because it was, it just seemed easier for me. Like it was, I'd much rather trust Facebook on keeping them there. And Facebook also likes it a lot more when we keep people on Facebook okay. because they're, they're able to sell more stuff when people are on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So building it up initially and then taking them off of Facebook, I found was more powerful. 
Right, right. And I'll jump in here too. It's just you know, it's targeting. It's the targeting abilities that you have with Facebook versus you know a lot of, a lot of other platforms that are out there. Is you know you could you could zone in and target exactly the audience that you yeah, want. You can figure really. out who your customer is and go after that customer exactly where they are. Yeah, you have uh, you can even just target one person too if you really want to you really want to get that attention like Oprah or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. Yeah. So. Uh, let's talk about like a lot of people still kind of struggling uh, is, is how how do you know a, a, a something that how do you make something go viral I mean I think that's a very, very good question for both of you uh, and, and versus a content just won't go viral like, I think a lot of people yes they do know they want a fan page they, they say they, they do know they need a lot of fans but you know um, they don't know how to make that either fan page go viral or the they don't even know how to post stuff on the on the fan page to make it go viral. Do you have any uh, tips for that? Uh, I'll share. I'll share on that. You know, a lot of people they they want instant instant gratification, right? And they don't want to take the time and, and do the proper setup uh, in order to even have the ability to have something go viral, right? Right. And and so this is what I see a lot of times is is people they start a fan page, they get thirty fans, and then they start advertising. And you're advertising to 30 people, you, need, you know, like that's not a very big audience. And so, you know, what we teach people is you want to set up, you want to create a very strong foundation. Okay. You want to build your base. Okay. And in our case, we like to, to build a base of at least 25, 30,000 people. Okay. And then start really advertising and monetizing that fan base. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. That way uh, the numbers start playing in your favor. So, you know, a percentage of people are always going to be interested in some offer that you're putting out there. Okay. And if you only have, like you said, 30 people, I mean, maybe one of them might be interested. The rest are going to probably be a little upset. But with 30,000 people at 1%, like, it's a little bit more, like, exposure. A couple more people are going to be interested. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's great. So, um, I, I think a lot of people are still kind of struggling to get to that huge number of a 20, you know, 5,000 or 30,000. Obviously, you need to get in the more detail inside your course talk about it but uh, can you give me maybe one-liner or kind of a, a, a summary or some kind of idea and uh, how long would it take to build to 25,000 or 30,000 fans and 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 maybe maybe share some of the uh, steps that really takes to get there and 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 then talk about um, how to target them right too because a lot of people you know just too general right because you, you want to be more specific people come to your fan page a lot of people are doing that wrong as well so uh, can you um, one of you kind of take over that question yeah there's there's one way that you can do things for viral posts that most people don't really think about and that is finding fan pages that are similar to what you have uh -huh. and you're gonna have to put in some time you're gonna have to go through every single one of the pictures that they have and look at what had the most likes, the most shares, the most comments, and study what they did. Like maybe they said, like in, a, in one of our things, I tell people on Facebook, you have to tell people what to do. Like if you want somebody to share something, you tell them, click share if you agree with X. And what happens is by telling someone to do something, they're more likely to do it versus uh, a lot of times people just post like a picture and expect it to just go viral for whatever reason right. and I mean if you're not telling people what to do like they're not going to do anything they're going to be like okay next like what's up next okay what's next what's next uh -huh. and telling them to take an action means that they're more likely to take the action and by using someone else's fan page to kind of test what's working you can basically you know see what works in your specific niche and apply that within you know your page and, and here's one thing I'll add to that, and I find that this works in a lot of different, uh, you know, avenues, whether that's Twitter or YouTube or Facebook or, you know, setting up a new page, is number one, you want to create curiosity with your post. Number two is you want to deliver valuable content, right? We're, we're giving this interview. We're, we're, we're sharing content with you guys, right? And then what's the third step? The third step is giving a call to action. And a lot of people don't give that call to action because they don't really know that they have to, or they give five calls to action. Like, click these five links. Which one? Uh, and we, we teach people to, to Specific, right? lead people in the direction that they want them to go. So when you, when you do call to action, you want to be more specific, like which link to click on, right? Yeah. Just yeah. giving them one thing to do versus okay. five, because 
Like if you have too many choices, yeah, people aren't gonna do any of them. They're gonna be overwhelmed and they're gonna be like, uh, oh, I'm leaving. Yeah. Go to something else. Yeah, we all have short attention expense, especially on the internet these days or on your phone. There's so much yeah. thing distracting us. Oh, absolutely. And also, you know, it's also in the beginning when you're building the page, it's remembering to populate the page with content because you're not gonna get everyone's attention with one piece of content. You might get a lot of people's attention, but you won't get everyone's, right? Mm -hmm. And so we teach people how to populate the page so that you're going after different types of people and uh -huh. different types of people will click on your on your content. Different things, yeah. Yeah. So what what let's talk about some of the mistakes that you personally made or you seen your student made uh, when it comes to uh, marketing your know, fan pages or you know Facebook marketing in general. Uh, what 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 are the you know fix the mistakes for someone just starting out and they, they will absolutely have to avoid? Uh, I'll talk about with Facebook ads. Uh -huh. A lot of the time, people will like we have this thing where we think we're always right with stuff we do. Like I do, I know a lot of people do. So when they create a Facebook ad, instead of creating like 200 ads, they'll create one and expect <laughs> it to work. If you create if you create 100 to 200 ads, like testing different pictures, different headlines, different copy, and then just test, see which gets the highest click through rate, which costs the cheapest. And you know the ones that are performing badly, just get rid of them. Like they don't work. Don't spend any more money on that. Right. And then find the find the ones that do work, and you know try to beat that ad out. Like try to get cheaper clips, clicks. Try to get like higher click through rate. Like just test, 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 test. And yeah, test awesome. is definitely definitely a big mistake that people make. And not only testing, but a lot of people test with with a big budget. Oh, yeah. And you know, big thing that we, we teach them is you know take five ten bucks and test the campaign. Oh wow! And once you figure out what's working, then you can scale, scale it up. up. You know, nail, we say nail it and then scale it. There's actually a book out there about it. Yeah. Nail the campaign and then scale it up. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's a very smart way to approach it. And let's kind of share some of the uh, some of the results people already getting by by taking this course. Some of the uh, students' results. And when I heard it, I was like, wow, this is I kind of have to share it with my audience here. Uh, today, so let's talk about um, how long it took them to achieve a level of, of the success that we have today. Let's talk about you know how much money they're already making, how much fans they're getting, all that stuff, uh, so that just as my audience kind of know what, what's going on here. I've got a lot of my friends who I started teaching this to about six months ago. Like I, I tested it first for a couple months to make sure it was sustainable for me, and then I was like, like I called up some friends and I was like, hey guys, guess what? I was like, I just made an extra grand this month. Mm -hmm. and they're like what? So I'm like, yeah, do this. And I, you know, basically showed them what I was doing, and now like they're scaling pages. So some of my friends have like fifty thousand, hundred thousand fans, like two hundred thousand, up to I think one of my best like student right now has like five hundred thousand fans. Wow. And he's doing this like not really full time at all. Like he's he's got a job and is just doing it like when he gets out of work and stuff. That's like and, and, people. Yeah, and he's got. He's got, I think he's at like eight grand, eight or nine grand right now a month from this, which is like extra income from you know, his other job too, which I thought was kind of fun. I'm like, dude, that's awesome. Like, yeah. props. Yeah. I, I'm just out of curiosity. How long took him to get like half a million people? <laughs> uh, about, probably about six months. Like he's been doing it since I taught him. I was like, this is what you do. Like, uh -huh. do it. And, you know, he did it instead of just accepting that okay I could do this and so, what, sitting what, on his ass not doing still have another job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I mean I he's content with that I guess. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can I, I can understand that. So um and and uh, let's let's kinda talk about your product here. Um now let's talk about the launching time and the uh, product name and uh, who's gonna be really benefit for um, you know, and, and talk about the format of the course too, um, and if we have a time of price point as well. But, uh, and uh, if we have a time, let's talk about the OTO as well. Awesome, yeah. Well, you know, the product is uh, called the FP fan page method, and uh, you know, we're just we, we want to teach people. We know that pay, uh, Facebook pay per click, pay per click in general has a bad name. And, and that's because, like I said before, you know, people don't know how to test, they don't know how to target. Nobody's ever taught them how to do it right. All they hear is, you know, Facebook and PPC is a black hole of money being spent. 
And in my, in our opinion, we feel that Facebook P, uh, PPC advertising is the safest form of paid advertising Absolutely. because you have control. You can control your spending. You can control your testing. If you learn the right way to do it, you can have uh, a very lucrative campaign where you can build huge fan pages that you can uh, market to, monetize, uh, connect with, build a list, do all the things that internet marketing teaches. And look, there's a lot of great strategies out there, right? We ju we're just happening to teach Facebook pay-per-click the right way. And, uh, you know, the format is, you know, it's a, um, it's a, it's a nuts and bolts how-to training. It's video modules and uh, PDF documents. So the video modules is you're actually watching over Chris's shoulder as he's setting up fan pages and taking them from, you know, idea to actual monetization strategy, to actually making money off of it. And, you know, the videos are great, but there's also a lot of, like, ideas. So people, like, they struggle with, okay, so what kind of page do I create? You know, what's what's a really good niche to get into? Right. Uh, I'm not really sure, you know. And so we, we put together some PDF documents where people could really learn about the hot niches that are out there. What are some great posts to put out there? Uh, how do you test properly? What are some good um, different uh, things that you can do to, to test against? Mm -hmm. So different subject lines, different copy, different pictures, what types of pictures, where do you get them from, things like that. Awesome, awesome. That sounds great. And, and uh, uh, let's talk about the, uh, oh yeah, don't forget to mention the outsource model you guys teaching there as well. I think a lot of people want to... Uh, Absolutely. You know, it, like... A lot of people they they, they come to our um, they come to our sales page and they're like oh my god you know lazy marketers and, and all this type of stuff but the reality is is that we've created a system we teach you how to set up the system but then once you set it up you can be the person that's managing it or you can uh, learn from our outsourcing module how to actually find people that will replace you so replace your your time sitting in front of the computer managing your pages uh, knowing exactly what to do. Uh, we actually have uh, people working for us managing a lot of our pages right now. Because the reality is, is like we like to surf, we like to go to the beach, we like to go to the pool, we like to go up on the boat like we did last night. Yep. You know, we just like to do things, but we love to travel. And I know a lot of you watching this love to do different things too. And so we teach you how to set the system up. And I mean, we encourage you to do that yourself and then go out there and teach somebody else on how to manage it all. So big, th big, big, uh, big module. Thanks. For bringing up yeah. yeah 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 I definitely want to my people hear about that and, and uh, uh, let's talk about the OTO here the the, 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 the webinar series you're gonna guys gonna put together for us <clears throat> sure uh, you know we realize again that you know you can you can spend this time you put these things together but you can run into uh, you're gonna run into some issues here and there uh, I think Chris's course is pretty flawless uh, from what I've seen uh, that's out there, uh, but still, you know, we want to be able to help you guys uh, really succeed with what we're, what we're teaching you. So uh, our one-time offer is we're going to be putting together live uh, question and answer webinars on a monthly basis. Um, we have 24-7 support available, plus a Facebook group that you'll, you'll have um, access to, you know, if you have questions and, um, you know, ideas, you want to run an ad by us, you want to test something out. But the Q&A webinars is where you'll be able to actually bring your fan pages to us live, bring your campaigns to us live, and we'll be able to tweak uh, and change your and give you ideas on how to make it exponentially better um, with with what you're doing and how you're growing your fan pages. So it's going to be a big, uh, you know, a big bonus for us to be able to do live case studies uh, for everyone to see. So if you have, you know, you're you're doing the method, you're actually applying what we're teaching. And you bring it forward, bring it on a webinar. We'll actually discuss it in front of everyone. Oh wow! Oh wow! So it's like uh... Uh, plus uh, Chris, Chris, Chris put together a, a bonus training today for for that OTO uh, called the top five uh, viral posts. So I, I've been begging him to put this together. He's he's really good at getting like sixty thousand uh, likes on a on a post yeah. or wow. uh, five thousand shares on a post. And I'm like Chris. Uh, my pages aren't doing that yet. Can you show me, show these these people that are looking at this course exactly how to do that? So he put together a module today, five uh, top, the top five uh, ways to have a post go viral on Facebook. Awesome, awesome. That's that's very exciting. So let's talk about the, the the front end price point. Is it on diamond sale or how long are you gonna keep the uh, offer opening? Um, and uh, you know, mentioning about the OTO price as well for those who are interesting right now. 
Uh, sure. Uh, our product launches tomorrow, uh, which is that's Tuesday, June 4th at 11 a.m. Uh, and that's 11 a.m. Eastern time. And uh, our, our, our product is going to be available for $47. Okay. And then our one-time offer, which is the, the monthly uh, Q&A webinars, mm -hmm. uh, along with uh, the bonus module that Chris put together today, 24-7 support, as well as access to an exclusive private Facebook group where you can ask questions, uh, post topics for discussion. We could actually tweak your campaigns. That's a $97 a month uh, one-time offer. Okay. okay. So there's no diamond sale going on, right? But we're not doing a dime set. Okay, okay. Just want to make sure, because a lot of people are doing it. Okay, cool, awesome. Uh, I think I got all the uh, um, questions I need to ask you here. Are uh, you guys here? So, do you have any final words before we leave here today? Yes. Thank you for the opportunity. Like, I appreciate that we're able to kind of share this. It's it, it's it's just fun being able to see that people are going to be able to succeed with this. Like, it's been working. And now I, he kind of forced me to put together the products so that other people could learn it. And I mean, I did it. And now I'll be happy when people start to apply it and start seeing success with it. Uh -huh. Because that's that's the only reason I did it. I was like, well, shit, people can actually do this stuff and not like waste a bunch of money because I'm showing them like how to save the money on it and scale the page to make the money back. And like that's that's what's cool about it is like people are going to use this and succeed with it. So yeah. Happy. yeah, I'm going to share something too as well and, and, and you know like you asked about students and success stories and things like that you know you asked this as one of your questions and as a matter of fact I'm one of Chris's students uh, I, I believe that we're all students and teachers there's always something we can learn from each other right. and uh, you know at one point, I remember Chris was a student like three or four years ago in a course that I was doing and now I'm a big student of what he's teaching uh -huh. and uh, you know I'm just excited because Chris taught me how to do this literally like uh, a couple weeks ago, he taught me this strategy, this specific strategy. I've been doing Facebook marketing for a long time, uh -huh. but this specific strategy I learned a couple weeks ago, and I am a success story of Chris's. I have fan pages that I'm growing right now. Some of them are over 35,000 in oh, just wow. a matter of like 10, 12, 13 days. Oh, wow. I like So that. I'm a big testimonial to this, and I'm excited to, to see people take advantage of this because I feel like this is a lot of value uh, wow. that we're sharing with the marketplace. and. I feel the people that take advantage of it will be very happy that they did. Awesome, awesome. All right. Thank you guys for your time. And for those who are still watching with us, I am going to offer you guys awesome bonuses again. And just kind of look out for my email tomorrow morning and uh, for my reviews as well. And uh, uh, Chris and Arthur, thank you so much for your uh, take your busy, uh, busy time out of your day and uh, doing this interview. And, and most importantly, share some awesome, awesome, great tips on uh, Facebook. And I'm personally looking forward to to uh, uh, <clears throat> learn and get in this course as well and learning from it. And uh, yeah, people who's listening to this should be very, very excited. Learn how the real pros do this, not just talking about it, but you know, actually doing this and put the course together to share with us. So uh, go grab a launching time as well. Uh, guys, thanks again. And uh, I'll be sure uh, to talk to you guys soon. I'll learn from you too. Uh, thank you. Thanks, man. We'll see you soon. Right. Cheers. Hey guys, what's up? Chris Hughes here, and I just kind of wanted to show you what I've been doing here with Facebook. So I'm going to log in here, and to just kind of show you some of these pages that I have right now, and what they're basically have been doing for me. So let's see here, here's one of the pages. It's got 849,000 likes right now. It's pretty good, getting close to a million. So uh, one of the goals for it. We'll go to another page here, and check this out. This one's at 520,000, so that's pretty good. Let's do, oops, let's check out one of these other pages I've been working on lately. Let's see what that's up to lately. And right now it is at uh, just under 64,000, so this one's starting to build up. Uh, so we're going to just basically show you how this is, you know, being monetized and how it can actually work for you. So I'll log into the different accounts here. Okay, so over here we'll see month to date. Jeff, right here is uh, 9,274.35. Uh, 
Uh, there's year to date right there. So then we'll go over to Amazon to check that out. Sign in here to the affiliate program for Amazon. Uh, let's see, just shy of 1700 with this one, 1673. We'll also do another account here. And then just to kind of show you guys these numbers and how it does actually work. Okay, so let's see. So far this month we've got, let's see, this is this past week, 680, 70 with an extra 1100, or 1128 for this month. So it's a little bit of money for this past month, but it's actually pretty beautiful. It's really hot down here. So what I'm going to do is actually go jump in the pool because, you know, it's hot and I got to cool down every once in a while. So I'll see you guys in the product and see you later.